How can door hardware make everyday life easier? Let Schlage show you what's possible when you combine innovation, style, and safety into a simple-to-use smart deadbolt. The Schlage Sense Smart Deadbolt features an easy-to-install, battery-powered design that complements any decor while securely connecting to your Apple or Android smartphone via the free Schlage Sense app. And if you're away from home and need to lock or unlock your door, Schlage provides a variety of ways to control your smart deadbolt from anywhere. At Schlage, we create innovative door hardware that makes everyday life easier. Welcome to another Schlage how-to video. At Schlage, we create innovative door hardware that makes everyday life easier. Your Schlage Sense Smart Deadbolt makes controlling access to your home simple and safe. It's not only simple to install and use with assignable access codes, it also pairs with your smartphone so you can manage entry to your home with unparalleled ease. This video will show you how to install, set up, and pair your lock with your smartphone. Let's get started. If you'll be connecting your lock to a smart device, now would be a good time to take a moment and download the Schlage Sense app that will be used to operate and manage your lock. It also contains other valuable information, helpful resources, and assures that you always have the most up-to-date features and software available. First, make sure you have the latest operating system on your device. To check your operating system version, go to your phone settings, look under General or About depending on your phone. Schlage offers a variety of ways to control your smart deadbolt from anywhere. For households that include Android and Apple users, the Schlage Sense Wi-Fi adapter provides easy access to your deadbolt via the Schlage Sense app. You can also pair the Schlage Sense Smart Deadbolt with popular home automation systems. Find all of the integration possibilities at schlage.com slash sensepartners. Don't worry, when it's time to set up your lock, the app will guide you to the best option for your home. To get the app, search the iTunes App Store or Google Play for Schlage Sense and download it. You'll need to complete your deadbolt installation and setup before attempting to add a new lock in the application. Before we begin, here are a few important tips to ensure a successful installation. First, follow the installation steps in order. Second, wait to install the batteries until instructed to do so, as this initiates the setup sequence that's needed after you've installed the lock. Finally, don't worry if you make a mistake. Your lock has a built-in factory reset option. Performing the reset process is simple and returns your lock to its original factory settings. And if you're moving the lock to a new door, you'll need to reset the lock. For more information, look to your user guide for additional videos like this one. Now, let's take a look at the tools you'll need. If you have a standard door that's properly prepared to current industry standards, the only tools you'll need are a tape measure, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you'll be using the drive-in bolt, you'll also need a hammer and a block of wood. We'll cover that later. You can use a power screwdriver, but please do not use an electric or cordless drill to tighten screws as it could easily strip the threads or even damage the lock. Now we're gonna create a checklist of the questions we'll need answered. If you can't check off everything on the list, you may need to make some adjustments to your door or frame. Let's start by taking a look at your current door and frame to make sure they're properly aligned and that the holes are properly drilled for your new lock. Because your Schlage Sense has an automatic motorized deadbolt, it's important that the door and jam are properly aligned. Let's test your current lock. You should be able to lock the door without pushing, pulling, or lifting the door and your door alignment should stay the same regardless of how hot or cold the weather may get. Now, remove any existing deadbolt lock and check your door and frame dimensions. Check to make sure you have a minimum of five inches between the center of the deadbolt hole and the center of any other door latch below the deadbolt. That the crossbore diameter measures two and one eighth inches or one and a half inches. That the back set measures either two and three eighth inches or two and three quarter inches from the door edge to the center of the cross bore. 
that the latch bore measures one inch in diameter and the thickness of the door is between one and three eighth inches and one and three quarter inches. If your door is thicker than one and three quarter inches, you may need to purchase a custom door kit. Contact customer service for assistance. Finally, check to make sure the hole drilled in the door jamb for the deadbolt is at least one inch deep. If you can't check off everything on this list or need additional information, we're here to help. Visit us online at schlegg.com or call customer service at 888-805-9837. Now that your door is ready to go, let's take a look at the components of your lock, including the document package containing your installation instructions and user guide, the touchscreen assembly, the hardware package, and finally, the alarm assembly. Now, take a moment to locate your user guide. On the cover, you'll find important codes that you'll use later to complete your installation. Make sure to store your user guide in a safe and convenient location for future reference. If you ever misplace your user guide, these codes can also be found on the back of the alarm assembly. Once unpacked, take a moment to locate and identify all the parts of your lock, shown here. You'll be installing the bolt first. The bolt comes with a pre-attached rectangular faceplate, but you can change to an optional round drive-in faceplate if your door calls for it. Remember the back set measurements you checked earlier? If your door has a back set of 2 and 3 8 inches, no adjustment is necessary. If your door's back set is 2 and 3 quarter inches, the bolt can easily be adjusted by simply rotating the faceplate as shown here. If you're using the rectangular faceplate, Simply slide the bolt into place with the word top on the bolt facing upward and secure it with the two shorter screws provided. If your door requires the round drive-in faceplate, simply replace the rectangular faceplate with the round plate provided. Refer to your installation guide for details. With the bolt retracted, use a hammer and a block of wood to gently tap the bolt into place flush with the edge of the door, using the block of wood to protect the bolt. Now install the strike plate on the door frame. Install the reinforcement plate first, making sure the plate is oriented to the door correctly as indicated on the plate. Secure the plate with the long reinforcement screws. Your lock comes with an optional strike reinforcement plate. Installing this plate will strengthen your door frame and add additional security to your home but may require some additional work to the door jamb. And if you have a side light, you may need to use shorter screws. Now, install the strike plate over the reinforcement plate using the two shorter screws. Before we move on, let's check to make sure the bolt and strike are properly aligned. From the inside, test the lock by inserting a flat head screwdriver into the slot in the bolt. Rotate the screwdriver a full 90 degrees toward the door edge to extend the bolt. The bolt should smoothly and fully extend into the strike. If not, you'll need to adjust your strike or jam until the bolt moves freely. Next, install the touch screen on the outside of the door. Make sure the bolt is retracted and flush with the edge of the door before you begin. If your cross bore measured less than two and one eighth inches, you will need to remove the snap and stay bracket before continuing. To do this, simply remove the attachment screw, rotate, and remove the bracket. Feed the cable under the bolt, aligning the tailpiece with the slot in the bolt and snap the assembly into place. Snap and stay clips will help hold the touchscreen in place. Now position the support plate on the inside of the door, as indicated by the written markings top and against door. Route the cable through the slot at the bottom and secure the plate with the two large screws provided. Before fully tightening the screws, check to ensure the touchscreen and support plate are straight. To install the alarm assembly, remove the battery cover by pushing up but leaving the battery tray in place. Be careful not to touch the circuit board, which can damage the lock. Then, connect the cable to the alarm assembly, matching the white dot on the connector with the white dot on the circuit board. Route the cable into the channel provided to keep it from getting pinched or crimped. Align the tailpiece, correctly orienting the tab with the slot on the bolt. You may need to rotate the thumb turn for correct alignment. Slide the assembly toward the door 
and onto the support plate. Secure the assembly to the support plate, inserting the lower and longer screw first, then the short screw at the top. Do not attempt to turn the thumb turn at this point. For the lock to function properly, the bolt must remain retracted until the setup is initiated. Now, unsnap the connector and remove the battery tray. Insert the batteries, ensuring proper polarity. Then, carefully replace the battery tray with the batteries facing the door. Reattach the battery connector and replace the battery cover. Your installation is almost complete. Now, you just need to set up and test the lock. To set up the lock, open the door and press the Schlage button on the touch screen. Enter one of the default four-digit access codes provided on your user guide. The lock will perform a setup routine. Wait until the bolt stops moving before continuing. Now that the setup is complete, let's test your installation. First, let's check to see if the thumb turn and bolt are moving freely. Make sure the bolt's retracted. Close the door and rotate the thumb turn to lock and unlock the door several times. The bolt should extend and retract smoothly. If the deadbolt drags, adjust the strike or door jam for better alignment. Next, test the touch screen. With the bolt retracted, close the door. Don't lock yourself out. Make sure to take a key with you while you test the lock from the outside. Now, press the Schlage button. The touch screen light should come on and the bolt should extend, locking the door. Now, with the door locked, press the Schlage button. The touchscreen light will come on, but the bolt shouldn't retract. If you hear the bolt retract, there's an installation error. Next, press the Schlage button. Then enter one of the four-digit default access codes found on the front of the user guide. The bolt should retract and unlock the door. If any of the tests failed, Consult the troubleshooting section of your user guide or contact Schlage for advice. You did it! You're done! Your installation is complete! And your new Schlage Sense Smart Deadbolt is ready to use. You may choose to manage and control your lock using only the touchscreen or, for a full feature experience, you can pair the lock with the smartphone. Pairing with your smartphone is recommended. The Schlage Sense app makes programming and operating your lock easier than ever. Pairing your lock is easy. Just keep in mind that once you pair the lock to your phone, all the functions are then managed through the app, and any access codes you've added through the lock's touchscreen will be deleted. You'll also need the setup numbers located on your user guide or on the back of the alarm assembly. To pair the lock to your mobile device, first make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Next, launch the Schlage Sense app, accept the terms and conditions, and create an account if prompted. In the app, select Add a New Lock and follow the guided instructions. During this process, your app may need to update your lock's firmware. It's important to let the app complete this process. Then, you can add your new lock. When the app advances to lock the main screen, you've successfully paired your lock. Now you're ready to explore the many features of your lock and app. You can customize built-in alarm settings, auto lock delay, add and delete access codes, and much more. Your Schlage Sense app is full of resources and helpful information. Once your lock is paired, you can add the Schlage Sense Wi-Fi adapter to your home Wi-Fi network so you can control it from anywhere. With the adapter plugged in, open the Schlage Sense app. Tap the menu button, then tap Wi-Fi adapter, and press the plus sign to add the adapter. The app will walk you through connecting the adapter to your Wi-Fi network. And then you can connect with your lock from anywhere with your internet connected Android, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch.